Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I line my lips to make them look fuller, make them look more pouty. So this is a new way that I've been doing it. it makes your lips look way more full, but I've been getting a lot of questions on how I do it. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. And I'm also gonna show you just that way you can see the contrast between the two of how I used to line my lips. It's very different, but it also looks very different. So you guys will see the difference between the two. Back in the day, I didn't even used to like wearing bold lipstick. I didn't really like my lips to stand out. So I never really experimented a lot with lip lining. I actually used to hate the over lip lining um, trend. I hated it. Uh, now I'm kind of all about it. All right, so this is how I used to line my lips. This was one of my favorite pencils. I still love this pencil. I just don't use it as often anymore. This is Mac Oak. And I used to literally just follow within the lines. Now I've never been one of those people that puts foundation all over my lips. I feel like it doesn't work on me first. I don't know why, but I feel like it doesn't work. I've always had a very sharp cupid's bow. So I would just follow along the lines of that. just directly on top of my lip line, no overlining. And then I would fill it in with a lipstick that was not too far off from the lip liner color. This particular shade is a MAC lipstick called Yash. Yash? Yash? Yash. Yash. <laughs> and that would be the extent of my lip lining lipstick application. Maybe I would throw on a gloss, but this is pretty much what it would look like. Sharp Cupid's bow, no overlining, boom, 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 it's done but now we're gonna crank it up a notch and I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing lately that makes it look extra. So I'm just gonna take this off. Some of my favorite lip liners, I've talked about these so many times, so I'm not gonna talk about them a lot, but the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils, these ones, they're a newer product from Makeup Forever. I really, really love them. I remember somebody made a comment when I did a uh, full face tutorial and I did my lipstick. They were like, there's no way you're gonna bring all those products with you if you're going out at night to touch up your lips. And that's true, I don't bring my lip liners with me because they don't come off. They really stay on throughout the whole night. I've never had any problems after eating. They are really long lasting. So that's why I really like these ones. So I'm gonna show you guys the shape that I do. We're gonna go ahead and punch it in a little bit. I like to punch it in, but I like to still have my eyebrows in the frame. I don't like to be browless. Do you cut your brows off? Do not cut my brows off because then I don't know what kind of expression I'm making, you know? First step is the Makeup Forever pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. Number 606, this one is just a really great tone. I feel like it's not too brown, but it's also not too pink. It's like a very good in-between for me. So this is my favorite shade to use as a starter. So for the lower lip, I don't really do a lot of overlining because I have a full lower lip. It's already got a hang going on, but it's all depending on your lip shape. I do slightly, I wouldn't say overline it, but I line it a little bit more than I used to. All right, now for the top lip, this is where I do overline a little bit more. Now my left side does tuck a little bit more, like it's a little bit pinched in like that. So I even line the left side a little bit more than the right side, but that's just like a little crazy in me. When I start the line on the outer edges, I don't overline, but once I get to about right here, that's when I start bringing it up a little bit higher. I have a very sharp cupid's bow, so when I do this type of lining, I actually soften it a lot. I used to never soften it. I'm just gonna kind of go straight across. You can see right here, I just filled it in instead of making it sharp. You could leave it with just this color lip liner and do you know your lipstick, whatever, your gloss, and there's already we've already got some overlining going on. You can tell up at the top, it looks a lot fuller, but this next step, I feel like just makes it more fun. I feel like it kind of makes the lips look like more pouty. This is essentially contouring your lips is what we're doing. Ooh. Ooh. So now I'm gonna use my next favorite shade from the Makeup Forever pencils. This is Total Taupe. This one is a very taupe lip liner color. I actually haven't seen one like this before. I haven't been able to find a color like this before. I like to take this one and shade the outer corners and you'll see the difference that it makes once I do that step. I like to use it on its sides. So that way it kind of shades as I go. So just doing the outer corners. Kind of press your lips together. Looks a little crazy right now. And then also on the top at the Cupid's bow, right where I filled in, I just fill that area in with this shade. And again, I have it on the flat like this. I have it like this, that way it fills in below as well. It kind of shades it. There we go. Even just with the lip liner, it kind of looks like I'm making a kissy face, like, you know? That is all the lining that I did. 
right? That's two different colors. But as you can tell, it makes a big difference already. It's like, whoa, girl, what, what are you doing? Okay, then you wanna get two different lipstick colors, a deeper shade and a lighter shade. So the two that I've been using, and I'm sharing this because so many people have been asking me what lip combination I've been using. These are the Dose of Colors Desi X KD lipsticks that we created a year ago. The shades More Creamer Please and No Shade. There are some days where I do a little bit more pink and I'll use a different color, but this is like my go-to jam. This is More Creamer Please. It's a deeper toned, warmer nude lipstick. And I use this on the outer corners right here. And I like to dab by doing the darker shade on the outer corners and the lighter in the middle. It's just gonna keep with the plumping situation that we have going on. So there is more creamer please. And now I'm gonna add no shade. And this is the one that's gonna really brighten it up and plump the lip. So I just apply it to the center regular and then I'm gonna tap it to the upper lip. So I tap it all the way to the top of the lip liner but not over the taupe shade, like the very crisp corner. I leave that but I do bring it up over my actual lip line right here. And then you just wanna to press together. You can kind of tap and blend the brighter lipstick to the outside if you want. Or this just kind of helps, by tapping it just kind of helps melt everything together. All right, so this is the lipstick part and you can tell the lining makes a huge, huge, huge difference. So then you can top it with a gloss. You know, I like to use my over the top gloss. You can't apply it all over the lip, but I like to apply it mainly in the areas that I want more plump. So the center here, bring it down and then all the way up to the Cupid's bill. Hoey. So this is what I've been doing lately. These are the colors that I've been using. I've been getting so many questions on it. So I wanted to make a video just dedicated to this. Uh, as you can tell, it's definitely more dramatic. It's a huge difference, but I'm here for it. <laughs> you know, I rubbed my eye in the shower and I forgot I had my contacts in. Like I rubbed it really hard in the shower and then it got lost in the upper echelon of my eye. And... Is it still there? No, I had to fish it out after I got out of the shower and I was just so, I'm so scarred by it. Like, I'm so upset. So upset, John, you would never understand. All right, next I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it with a more, looks like a little bit more of a pink moment and a liquid lipstick instead of regular lipsticks. So I'm gonna be using Spice Lip Liner from MAC. This is a pinkish tone lip liner that I really like. So we're gonna do the same thing here. That's the basic outline shape. So now I'm gonna shade in on the sides. And then I'm gonna take a liquid lipstick. This is from Dose of Colors, Bear With Me, which is like a soft pink, kind of a peachy pink liquid lipstick. And then I'm gonna focus it on the center. And then I'm gonna tap it out with my finger. So this is like using a liquid lipstick, but kind of buffing it out, blending it in with the lip liner. But you still get the color of the liquid lipstick, but you get the hoey action of the lip liner. And this is only two products instead of the other one, which is many, many more. But you can see that the lip liner just makes a huge difference when you do like two to three shades darker than the actual lip color itself that you plan on using. So you can leave this by itself and go for more of a matte vibe or you can add a gloss on top. I kind of like it just like this. All right, so this is how I've been lining my lips lately. It's just a different style of lip lining. It's a lot of fun to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Does that make sense? I'm confused. Are you really confused? Yeah. Amazon's here. Oh, I hate when they see me filming. It's so uncomfortable. They like walk right up to my window and I'm like, hey. <laughs>